WHDD presents Susan Says. Well, in an otherwise bad news week, some good news. Apparently, about a hero and some heroines. The hero is General Milley, Joint Chief of Staff of the military, who, according to the new book by Bob Woodward, came out to save us from the insanity of getting into war, to keep the former guy who shall not be named, i.e. Voldemort, in office. The book reports that he actually spoke to the counterpart in China, and who knows where else, to assure them that January 6th was not the end of democracy, though it sure felt like it was. Okay, he lied, because God knows where we're headed, but thank God he prevented a nuclear attack or whatever else. The moron was going to try to remain in office and denies it, but we know the truth. Another hero colonel, Vindemann, who lost his career for testifying against the blackmail the same moron was trying, unfortunately disagrees with Millie. He he said it's dangerous to go around the chain of command. I disagree. General Milley talked to the military and assured them that he would stop any malfeasance or war, anything like that, gets my eternal thanks. As for the heroines, four of them, the brave and really courageous gymnasts, who testified in front of the Senate on Wednesday about how they were sexually abused by the very doctor who was supposed to care for them. Their own organizations, even the FBI, let them down. They reported things, but they weren't followed up on. And two of the names of the FBI guys, one was fired and one retired, clearly were bribed or looking for a job or had other problems. FBI Director Ray made it very clear that this was never going to happen again on his watch, Yeah, but more investigation is still required. Allie Raisman, an impressive young woman who described her continuing PTSD, how it affects her life. She was so articulate, powerful. The others were equally brave. They made it very clear that this is something they will suffer from for the rest of their lives, in spite of their winning and winning and winning. How does one man, this doctor, who also shall be nameless, now in prison for the rest of his pathetic life, committed hundreds of acts on these children. It's mind-boggling. And then he went on to other venues because they were not taken seriously when these women complained, young girls at the time. Maybe we need more women taking these reports. And maybe they should find a way to retroactively punish these disgusting men who did nothing and enabled a molester. Wow. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.